Hi, I'm going to teach you how to do a poncho for an adult. And I used medium worsted yarn, an H hook, and I made this for an adult. I know I may have some that want to make this for a child. I do not have a pattern for a child. After you see the pattern, you may be able to adjust it for a child. Um, you could do less chains and then work the pattern out to where it fits for a younger child. However, I do not have one for a child. I just made this for an adult and for an adult woman. So the pattern is listed down below. Okay, so there are six rounds in total and I'll go over them step by step. And if you ever want to adjust your hook size to make this larger or smaller, you can. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, you're going to slip knot onto your hook and with an H hook you need to chain 103. So once you have your count of 103, we'll go to the next round. Now you're going to take your chain count row and you're going to connect the two ends together with a slip knot. Make sure they're facing together. Also make sure your chain is not twisted. Slip stitch and then you're going to chain one half double crochet in each chain. You're going to skip the first chain, go to the next chain and work a half yarn over, pull through all loops on the hook and then you'll work a half double crochet in each chain around until you get to the beginning. You're going to slip stitch in that first half double crochet and then you're going to fold your round in half and then on the opposite side of your slip stitch you're going to place a stitch marker. It doesn't have to be exact but you're going to place a stitch marker so you know where the halfway point is. You'll just place that stitch marker in place the entire time of this poncho. Now you're going to chain six. Skip two double crochet and single crochet in the next double crochet. Then you're going to chain three skip two double crochet and single crochet in the next double crochet. You'll do that two more times. Chain three, skip two double crochet and single crochet into the next stitch and then chain three and then skip two stitches and then single crochet and that is the pattern the pattern around is chain six, skip two stitches and single crochet and then chain three and skip two stitches and single crochet and then do that two more times so a total of three and you'll do that until you get to the stitch marker. So chain three, skip two stitches and single crochet and then chain three, skip two stitches and single crochet. Chain
chain 6 and then skip 2 stitches and then single crochet and you'll just keep repeating that until you get to the stitch marker When you get to the stitch marker, you're going to chain six. And then single crochet after you skip two stitches. Here I did a slip stitch, but I meant to do a single crochet. And then when you're at the stitch marker, you're going to, going to do the chain six twice so it looks exactly like the opposite side and then you're going to single crochet then you're going to chain three and continue with three chain threes and chain two and single crochet and then you'll do that two more times and then you'll do another chain six and you'll do that until you get to the beginning And then chain six and then skip two and then single crochet at the end you'll end with a chain six so it looks like the opposite side so you'll have two chain sixes at the end because you started with a chain six and then you're just going to slip stitch into that beginning chain and then start the next round. You can change colors whenever you want, which I will show you. So it's going to look like this. You have your round and then you have your two sides. You're beginning with two change, chain sixes and then your stitch marker with two chain sixes. And then you're just going to work in rounds. Chain two and then work 10 double crochet in the chain six space. So yarn over, insert your hook, grab the yarn, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, then repeat for a total of 10 double crochet. For each round I posted the time so you can always go back to the time if you need more help with each round. So round three you'll have to go back at 8.55 on the video and then for round four I'll post the time and you can always go back to that time slot so that will help you for each round if you need help. single crochet in the next chain space chain three 
single crochet in the next chain space, chain three, single crochet in the next, and then work ten double crochet in the next chain space, the chain six, single crochet into the next chain space just like before it's just a repeat now and then chain three and then single crochet and then chain three and then single crochet and then work 10 double crochet into the next space again and just repeat that around until you get to the beginning and remember in the stitch marker you will work 10 double crochet in both of those chain six spaces right there so 10 double crochet in both six chain six spaces so now that you're at the stitch marker you'll work the 10 double crochet in both chain six spaces and it'll match the beginning so it will be the same when you wear it from both sides so this is the 10 double crochet and then just repeat it into the next chain six space and just repeat with 10 more double crochet into the next chain six space at the uh, stitch marker Now you're going to repeat with the single crochet and the chain three and then a single crochet and the chain three and single crochet and then you'll work the 10 double crochet in each 10 each chain six space and then you're just going to repeat that around until you get to the beginning it's going to look like this okay you're back at the beginning and you'll end with 10 double crochet in that last chain six space
slip stitch in the beginning, double crochet, and it's going to look like this. You finish this round, now you're going to yarn over, pull through. If you like to change colors here, you can. So you're going to slip knot onto your hook, and then you're going to insert your hook into that same stitch with your new color of yarn and pull through. And then you can slip stitch and chain two, work a double crochet into that same stitch as the chain two, then work a double crochet into the next nine stitches, single crochet into the next chain space and then a chain three and that accidentally was a chain two but it was supposed to be a chain three then work a double crochet in each double crochet ar around for the next ten single crochet again into the next chain space and then this is the pattern you will repeat it for this round and then chain three and single crochet into the next chain space and then just repeat one double crochet into the next ten double crochet once you get to the stitch marker you'll work 20 double crochet You'll slip stitch in that beginning double crochet and this is what it looks like. You're back at the beginning for that round and that's the 20 all together at that center stitch marker. It's going to look like this. Okay, you're going to chain four and that double crochet into the next stitch and then chain one then double crochet into the next and then just repeat that for a total of ten the chain four counts as the double crochet chain one so after that chain four you'll do nine more with a chain one and then double crochet and then chain one and repeat that until you get to the end of the ten double crochet single crochet into the next chain space and then work a double crochet into the next double crochet and then chain one and chain one and double crochet into the next 
and you will have a total of 10 with a chain one, 10 double crochet. So each double crochet, chain one, and then double crochet for a total of 10 until you get to the next chain space. Okay, you stop the chain one and then you're going to single crochet again and then you're going to go into the next double crochet again and that is the pattern around and then you'll chain one and when you get to the stitch marker you will work 20 so you'll work a double crochet chain one 20 right here for the stitch marker and then the rest will be the same for this round just like that. Once you're right there, you're going to double crochet and then chain one and then double crochet and then you'll do that for a total of 20 times right at that stitch marker. Okay, and then you'll just single crochet and then repeat that around until you get to the beginning. Okay, back at the beginning you're going to slip stitch on top of that chain three and you're starting the new round again here. Okay, now you're going to, if you like, you can change colors. I'm adding one more color, so I have a total of three. I like to do it in two rows that have the double crochet showing, and then I switch colors. It's up to you on what you'd like to do for uh, how many times you like to change colors. Then I'm going to slip stitch in the beginning stitch. Okay, I'm going to do a chain six and you'll do rounds three through six for each set for the pattern and then when you get to row six for the last set you only do rounds three through five because the last round starts the beginning of each set. And then you're going to skip and then single crochet into the next and then chain three and skip a stitch and then single crochet into the next and then chain three and then skip and then single crochet and then chain three and skip and work a single crochet then chain six and then skip one, two, three, four and then go right into skip three, go right into the fourth and then single crochet and then chain three 
you have one and then two and then three chain threes and then chain three and then skip one and then single crochet chain three and then skip and then single crochet and then chain three and then skip and then single crochet So you have one, two, three. So now you're going to chain six. And then you're going to skip one, two, three, four, and then go into that fifth one this time. And then every time you go for the chain five or chain six, you'll skip four. Now chain three and skip, and you'll work your way right into the stitch marker. Okay, now you're back around to the stitch marker and you have the 20 so you're going to chain three and skip and single crochet skip one and single crochet and then you're going to chain three and skip and then single crochet and then chain three and skip and single crochet and then chain six and because you have 20 this is the only time you'll do this the rest will be just like I showed you so this is a chain six and then skip in single crochet and then chain six again this is only in the center uh, stitch marker skip and then single crochet okay chain three skip and then single crochet and then chain six and then skip one two one two three four and then go into that stitch after skipping four so you'll skip four from now on for the rest of the pattern and then you're going to have to chain six at the very beginning and slip stitch in the beginning chain chain 2 and work 10 double crochet in the chain 6 space Okay, so this is all repeat now. Round three, you're back to that round. And this is a single crochet, and then chain three, and then a single crochet, and then chain three, and then single crochet, and then work 10 double crochet in that chain six space and then that is the pattern until you get to the stitch marker Okay, so after this, you are going to single crochet and then chain three and then single crochet and then work your 10 double crochet 
and then you'll do round four, five, and then go back to the beginning of doing round six. And once you're at the very end, then you're going to do rounds three, four, and five, and then six will always be your beginning round. And now you're going to slip knot if you like to do a collar trim. Just remember that when you're at the end, you just finish with round five for your final round. So it will be a set of rounds three through six, and I did about seven sets. It's up to you how many you would like to do for the length of your poncho. I think once at rest, past your hips, that's a good length. So now I'm going to do a slip knot and a chain two, and then a half double crochet in each stitch. Grab that yarn, yarn over, pull through all loops on the hook, and then just continue with a half double crochet around. You can do as many as two to three or four rounds. I did about two. It's up to you. And then afterwards, you can iron it to smooth it out. And if it bunches up, you can work a few half double crochet two together. Now chain two and work another half double crochet in each stitch around and then that will complete your trim. Okay, so the link is down below if you need more help and that's it for how to make this poncho. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and please subscribe. Make sure you weave in all your ends, turn it right side out and then your poncho is complete.